Hello everyone. I thought I would post a video related to some of the issues I've had in the past printing parts that have a very flat base um, and some of the techniques that I've been able to finally get to work for me when I print these. Um, if you're using a MakerBot printer and you're printing parts that have very flat surfaces, um, you may have encountered the same problem I was having where these parts would curl as they would kind of cool, um, especially the larger pieces that are very flat. For these, these parts I'm printing here, which are for a bioreactor, um, I need the parts to be very flat, not rocking, um, and not curling away from the base plate here when we print. So as you can see, this is a part that I printed recently that um, the part is fairly flat on the bottom. Um, and you can see there's almost no curling now to the part um, on the base itself. Uh, if I went ahead and tried to remove this, it's on there pretty solid. I'm actually gonna probably have to curl this a little bit um, just to get that to come off. So I twisted it there a little bit. Now you can see even with that um, stuck there pretty tight to the base plate. Um, the technique that I've been using to get this to work, which I thought I would go ahead and share, somebody had described this to me in the past. Um, I had to try it a few different times before I finally got it to work right for me. What I'm using here is some very, very cheap, kind of low-grade um, hairspray. Um, I've tried a few different ones here in the past. This is just Aquanet. I think it's about two bucks that I bought it for, for it from the store. Um, I'm going to go ahead and spray some of this on the plate. And there are some things I'm doing a little differently than simply spraying it that have worked out really well for me. So I thought I would just kind of share that. Okay, so I sprayed quite a liberal amount of Aquanet kind of on the space where I know the print's going to be. This print will be right here in the center of the plate. You can see I sprayed enough on there that I actually kind of have a little bit of a pooling on it. This is the trick that I found that works really well. I don't actually let this dry in the past. I used to try to let it dry and then try to print on that. What I do instead is I go through and just dab this with a paper towel. I don't know exactly what's happening here, but what I imagine is going on chemically, Aquanet itself is a somewhat water soluble polymer. And what I kind of imagine is going on here is it's creating kind of a bunch of grooves there. It's still wet and it's still sticky right now, but there's not an excess. So the plastic should still stick to this while it's going on there. It's gonna actually create kind of a layer of glue. The PLA filament that's gonna print on this is going to still be sol or solid and it will be um, non-water soluble. So once I'm done, I could take a part like this, even where there's some excess of that that's kind of hanging on there. If I really wanted to, I'd be able to just wash this with some soap and water. That'll wash that non, um, that, that water soluble polymer that's now sitting on the plate off and allow the PLA, which isn't water soluble, to still be there and to be just fine if I didn't want to have any of that sticky residue left. This makes for a very, very sticky build plate at this point. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and immediately bring this over Put it on to the MakerBot printer while it's still fairly wet here. Double check and make sure everything's on there secure. I'll print this next three hour long print with that still fairly sticky. Um, this will be something that should This will take a couple minutes just for the printer to get ready and heat it up again. Um, I say it should be dry. I think there's something about the paper towel and the damping, kind of damping it, um, that kind of creates the better stickiness as far as getting this to stick. Um, but my last four or five prints of fairly large prints with very flat surfaces have printed out very nicely. So I'm actually quite happy with the results from this. Um, I hope it helps you. I'll try to print, show you the print at the end of this as well. Okay, so here's the final print. Three hours later, you can see, rotating it around, everything stuck very well, very flat to the plate. Anyway, that's what this technique using, again, fairly cheap hairspray here, spraying it on the build plate, and then damp 
damp dabbing it kind of dry um, and then immediately going ahead and doing the print with the MakerBot. Um, you can see it will come off, not a ton of effort, but on there pretty tight.